Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Somali, coming on here with another video. You guys, as you know, I go to Powerhouse every year. Every year without fail. Actually, this is my fourth year going to Powerhouse. It's like, I have to go. You guys already know I am a concert junkie. I love concerts. I love live music. I love rap music. I love R&B. I do it for the culture. I love the culture. Um, if this could be a full-time job for me to go to concerts and then come home to review them, I would love that. I would love that so much. But anywho, you guys, I'm on my way to Powerhouse. I'm going with my friends, and I will see you guys after the concert so we can talk about you know everything that went down at the concert so i'm just gonna come back after the concert and then we can just have a conversation let's talk about it let's 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 talk about it okay i'll see you guys later bye we out here whatever the baddies the bad mama sitas tell me out here so we just made it here to powerhouse you guys i'm excited to be here i didn't do a get ready with me but my sis did so check her out that's right bitch i post everything down below we just made it Thank you. Yeah, we're here. Oh, the world's most dangerous morning show, The Breakfast Club. DJ Pro Style. The voice of New York, Angie Martinez. DJ Clue. DJ Self. The stage is about to be lit. Performing live, Lil TJ. Hello, G. I'm about to go party. I will be gay. And this don't be no problem. So, so, so we.
like six hotties to perform it over here right quick. But you gotta come up here and throw that shit. Come on, Bree, let's go. Let's go, throw that shit, Bree. Throw that shit. Hey. Cool. Yeah, no white shirt. With the braids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crop top jacket. Hey! I want somebody from over here. Right here. Cool. Get on the suit. Stand on the side. Okay, come on, jean jacket. Let me get somebody from over here. That ass, though. God real damn. Real. Damn. If you can make it down here. What the hell? In the white dress here. Yeah. We need them now. Someone says, put your hands on your hips. Summer says put your hands on your knees. Shut the fuck up! Play me some pivot, man. Y'all better fuck it up, too.
So this year we're gonna bring the baby in. We're gonna sing baby, 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 baby. Ready? New York, go like one, two, three, and one, two. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. Hold on, I'm going to walk. You can play it all. Look, the fact that you're going to pop it. I just hit my balance. I'm probably going to let you know where you're going to pop it. I'm going to pop it. Let me get some water real 
Lil Baby about to come Thank out. Thank you, baby. That's my baby. Lil Baby about to come out. Can we give him a little... That's Lil Baby, right? Toes, right? What you talking about? Yeah. yeah. That's Nobody come to play a team. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You're gonna fucking scream because the number one song in the world right now on radio. Look, look, look. On the count of three, say Kirk out now. Bitch, you ready? Kirk out now. Bitch, you don't say nothing. You ready? And we drop it. One, two, three. Say what?
freaking long i love the fact that the concert was long because you get your money's worth you definitely definitely get your money's worth so the concert started the concert started at about seven o'clock sharp 7 p.m sharp and me and my girls we had to get there one time because we love megan and stallion like we're not about to miss megan performance so i feel like they did that on purpose you know, to make sure that everyone is there on time. People were still late, but I had to, personally, I had to get there on time because Megan was opening. Honestly, I don't think she should have opened. I think that she should have, but they did say that the reason why Megan Thee Stallion opened up the show is because she had another gig afterwards. So get your coins, sis. Get your coins, sis. I understand, but I don't feel like she should have opened up. She did an amazing job. I don't feel like she performed as many songs as she should have. Like, it was a lot of songs on her album that I loved that I feel like she didn't perform. She performed mainly, like, the bangers. But a true fan, like, I want to hear it. But I understand, you know, they don't really give you that much time on the stage. I believe she was only on the stage for about 15, 20 minutes max. 15, 20 minutes max. And that was not enough time for me to, you know, eh, eh. I believe after Megan the Stallion, the baby came out. The baby came out with these big old blowed up actual like babies like what whatever whatever that's his thing it's cool um they say the reason why they call him the baby is because his original name was baby jesus 
and they rather just change it to he would rather just change it to the baby if i'm not mistaken i personally thought his name was the baby is because he's little like a baby but no it's because the baby jesus my friends enjoyed his performance i enjoyed his performance um after the baby it was love baby love baby y'all know well i didn't post the video for little baby comment down below if you want me to post when i went to his concert um it was too many copyrights throughout the video so i just decided to not upload when he came to montclair new jersey at the wellmont theater i went to his concert and me and my girl annie we had a blast so i actually do have the footage so if you guys want that video comment down below and i will get you that the video but um yeah i try to edit it to the best of my ability so that um it's not copyrighted but that's the reason why i didn't upload it because it was being copyrighted anywho back to the concert little baby of course like i really enjoyed his performance i love little baby i love everything that he's i love little baby let's just keep it at that i love little baby i love jada Wada. I, i've been following jada since before she was even popping she's been popping i've been following her since she was in high school and i follow her entire journey a lot of people like to say that um she came up off of little baby oh no boo boo jada came up on her own jada been lit on her own so yeah i don't know why i felt the need to say that but yeah that's my sis in my head so of course i'm gonna let people know you missed powerhouse you missed an entire freaking movie period like if you missed it you missed out you missed out powerhouse is the one concert where if you want to see all the hottest artists at once and you don't want to pay money for like multiple concerts to see your favorite artist go to powerhouse and you will see literally everybody the concert was literally five hours long like it started at seven on time on time it started at seven o'clock and it didn't end to about 12 o'clock p.m a boogie came out a boogie did his thing i'm a huge a boogie fan i love a boogie i love his style of rap he did his thing davido came out my sis went crazy both of my both of my girls is like they love Caribbean music. I love Caribbean music too, but to a certain extent. No, I like Caribbean music. My girls love Caribbean music. So they went completely crazy when DeVito came out. The DJ, the DJ did his thing. The DJ kept the crowd engaged. I believe there are like 15, 20 minute breaks in between artists, except for Lil Baby. Lil Baby came out right after the baby like there was no break like it was just like okay little baby we had sat down and by the time we sat down little baby had came out so we had got back up so um sweetie came out sweetie was popping i enjoyed sweetie's per performance that's my type nigga that's my type um polo g we pop out at your party i'm with the gang and it's gonna be a robbery so it's like your chain i'm gonna kill a girl i'm sorry but i can't change we ain't aiming for your body shots at your ring like come on polo g came out little tj i don't know who little tj is but let me tell you the crowd went bananas it's over little tj like i had never heard of him until powerhouse and they went crazy. I'm like, who is this guy? Like, why am I not hip to his music? Meek Mill came out. I also went to see Meek Mill in concert this year. Um, I went by myself. It was popping over in Manhattan. I believe it was Manhattan that I went to. Meek Mill bought out uh, Young and May. And he also brought out the Tap 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 dude. He bought out him. Powerhouse ended up closing with the Migos. And, um, yeah, it was Meek Mill, and then it was the Migos. I personally wasn't feeling that because I feel like the Migos don't really have good stage presence. Like, I don't feel, I don't feel their stage presence. Like, 
so them ending with the Migos, I actually ended up leaving early. Don't get me wrong. I love the Migos. But at that point, I had a migraine. I was on my feet for like three, four hours dancing and partying and having a good time. My section was whack. Yeah, I was on my feet basically the whole night. And um, I was exhausted. Once the Migos came out, me and my friends was like, you ready? And I was like, yeah, I'm ready because... I just, you know, I love Migos music, but their stage presence is, like, it's so dead to me. Like, it's so, like, you know, they do the little bop. They do the little bop or whatever. And I, I love the Migos, but seeing them in concert, I don't feel like I would pay to see the Migos in concert. I want to apologize. I don't have Meek Mill footage, and I do not have Migos footage because my phone had died at that point. Yeah, that that's basically a quick overview of the concert. If you missed it, then you did miss a movie because it was just an amazing time. The concert was really good. The concert was really good. It's like, honestly, to me, powerhouse is the concert of the year like if you don't go to any other concerts you need to go to powerhouse do not miss powerhouse like get you a ticket go to powerhouse have a good time get your on get your drink on meet some new people you know party dance live music like you cannot beat that you cannot beat the vibes that was at powerhouse like it was a movie Another big issue that I had with Powerhouse is that I did not get a chance to see The Breakfast Club. Like, I was thinking that The Breakfast Club was going to come out and they were going to announce the artist, but they did. They had a few radio people from Power 105 come on stage and introduce the artist. However, I want to see my favorite people from The Breakfast Club. Like, I listen to The Breakfast Club every morning, so I want to see Angela Yee. I want to see Charlemagne the God. I want to see DJ Envy. And DJ Envy and Charlemagne came on the screen and announced an artist, and but they didn't bring their ass outside. Like, they literally recorded something in the back announcing an artist to come on stage talking about some, oh, we're in the back, we're here, we're in the building. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not in the building. You was not in the building because if you was in the building, you would have just came on stage instead of put in pre-recorded footage on the monitor instead of just coming outside. Like, we want to see you. We want to see the drip. I want to see the drip. I love the way DJ Envy dressed, and I know he would have just, like, killed it. Like, I love the way he dressed. And I love seeing Charlamagne, and I love seeing Angela Yee. So, of course, I want to see them on stage. Like, what are you doing in the back? What are you doing in the back? What are you doing in the back? So that really pissed me off. I think that's pretty much the only thing that pissed me off about the concert because I wanted to see I wanted to see the Breakfast Club on the stage. Like they are the best in radio, in my opinion. I don't care about nobody else's opinion. In my opinion, the Breakfast Club is the best in radio. I listen to them every morning. I want to see y'all on stage. I want to see the fly outfits. And I want to feel that presence when I listen to y'all on the radio every morning. So that was the only thing that really upset me. But other than that, the concert was bomb. So if you missed it, you really did miss a movie. I can't reiterate that. I cannot reiterate that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the snippets from the concert. I hope that I got good footage for you guys. And yeah, yeah I'm sorry that I'm getting this video up a little bit late, but... I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below. Show me some love. Show me some love. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.